You've heard the old saying, you don't mess with Mother Nature, right? Yeah. Don't tell that to folks who make the snow at Powder Ridge Ski Area. And tonight's Working for Connecticut, we take a look at how they get the job done. I started skiing in Southern Vermont, where I grew up. I raced in uh, junior high and high school. I'm Tom Loring, and I am the training center director. People don't think about what it takes for us to be able to operate. The people always ask me, you know, what do you guys do in the summer? Well, <laughs> we spend all summer getting everything ready for three months. We'll have sustained temperatures below 28 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to make snow. We have to make sure all the valves uh, for all the hydrants all around the hill are in the right positions. We have to have hoses all set up, have the guns all set up. As the temperatures drop and as the snow is being made overnight, our snowmakers go out and check the guns and rounds to adjust where the snow's falling and combat the wind. So that's constant attention while we're making snow. You don't just get to turn it on and take a nap. The first snow you make, it's okay if it's you know pretty wet. Um, as we get closer to the top snow or the finished snow, we want it to be drier, fluffier, more like a powder. Uh, even with the snow sticks, you know, 50, 60 yards apart, we can't lay down an even layer, so we've got to push that out. You know, the big snow cats are basically snow bulldozers, um, and on the back of them, they have a tiller. It chops up the snow and ice into a nice, fine powder, and uh, then we flatten it out into a beautiful corduroy. If you've skied, if you've snowboarded, if you've felt that joy, that freedom when you're skiing and riding and that it's like flying and it's connecting with nature and being outdoors in the winter and it's phenomenal and so if you've done that and you're addicted to it then you'll do almost anything to get it again and that means we work in the industry